We are watching election results come in from coast to coast right now. Voters in Virginia have opted for a change in political leadership, and the shift from blue to red is seen as a potential indicator for the 2022 midterms. A Republican Glenn Youngkin actually a toppled Democrat Terry McAuliffe in the race for Virginia's governor. Youngkin is the first Republican to win statewide office there in 12 years. Another potential bellwether race is still too close to call. The New Jersey governor's race virtually deadlocked right now uh, between Democratic incumbent Phil Murphy and Republican Jack Cittarelli. Uh, Joe Kalia live in Washington, D.C. with more on how these elections could shape our entire future politically. Joe? Yeah, that's not understated, Adrian, especially when you consider in 2022 how many races are going to happen in swing states and in swing districts. Party leaders certainly looking at these races now uh, as an indicator as to what might happen in the 2022 midterms. And if you're Republicans, uh, Glenn Youngkin winning last night in Virginia is certainly a big momentum boost, a shot in the arm uh, for sure. Democrats, on the other hand, they're already contending with history being against them. Typically, when one party wins the White House, they tend to drop off uh, in the next midterm election. So Democrats are hoping this is just uh, sort of uh, one moment that they can get over a snapshot. But again, when you consider that President Biden won Virginia by 10 points less than a year ago, and they brought in the big guns to campaign with Terry McAuliffe, uh, President Obama, President Biden, Vice President Harris, uh, that did not seem to work. Two things that seem to be going in Republicans' favor at this point. One is that uh, Youngkin was able to tap into some angst with parents uh, about uh, school curricula and uh, some other um, uh, culture war type things. That certainly worked. He also was not contending like his opponent was with President Biden's low approval rating. Frankly, right now, he is an unpopular president in this moment. And the thing Republicans can take forward is that both of those issues are not exclusive to Virginia. So we could certainly see them come up in other places. Uh, yesterday, Adrian, I heard from a group uh, of Democratic members of Congress who they said that they were not so concerned because the midterms are still a year away. But there is certainly some concern among others. Last night, we heard the chairwoman of the Democratic Party in Virginia say that Democrats on the other side of the river, meaning here in uh, Washington, D.C., certainly need to be paying attention and learning lessons from these races. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.